In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can simplify the ribbon in Word to make it easier for learners to navigate. Now, undoubtedly, there are some great tools within Word, but they tend to be scattered around different parts of the ribbon. So, for example, if I, if I want to change the page colour, then I have to go to the design and then it's away over here. Um, if I maybe want to find, for example, Immersive Reader, I have to go to View. So great tools, but they are maybe difficult to find. I think it would be much easier if you had a tab where everything was located in the one place. So this is what I'm going to show you to make is how you can customise the tab or the ribbon in Word, so you can just have all the tools that you need. So for example, from here, uh, I can just quickly go to um, change the, the, the colour if I wanted to. I can hi highlight some, some text and I can use the speak button. The male bullfinch is unmistakable with his bright pinkish red breasts and cheeks, grey back, black cap and tail, and bright white rump. To have it read aloud. Um, if you want to maybe magnify the page, you can do that as well. And if you just want to maybe do some dictation, then dictation's there. So there's lots of um, tools that you can just bundle together to make it to make it easier. And in fact, what you can also do is also get rid of all the other tools up here, as so you just have that one tool. And I'll show you how to do these things. So to get started, first of all, we need to go to File, so up to File. And then we head down to where Options is. So I click on Options, and where the window appears in Options, we want to go down to where it says Customize Ribbon. So Customize Ribbon. Now, on the left-hand side is where, or the left column is where all our, our tools are. And on the right-hand side is essentially the, the ribbon uh, and all the tools within the ribbon. So if I go down here, for example, you can see where if I click on home, you can see where all the tools are in home, etc. All that sort of thing. So essentially what we want to do is we want to create our own custom toolbar, just as I've done here, my learning tools. And then we want to um, migrate some of the tools into that toolbar. And I'll show you how to do that. But first of all, I'm going to just untick all these ones off for just now. And you can come back and add them as you want. I'll just quickly show you what, what the toolbar looks like with, with these off. Switch everything off, I say OK, and you can see now everything has disappeared. So, File, Options, and Customize Ribbon. So, essentially what I want to do is to create a new tab. So, I'm going to create a new tab, and there it is. It just appears there. And what I want to do is, re is now rename the tab so it has some sort of meaningful name. So uh, let's just say, I'm going to call it my, uh, just as I did the last one, my learning tools or my learning, my learning bar. How's that? OK, so call it my learning bar and click that, say OK. And now what I want to do is start adding um, some of the, the different tools from here into this bar here. And normally what's, what's quite a, a, a useful thing to do is to create a new group. Because first of all, you have your tab on the higher the hierarchy. And then second from that is like a category is the new group. So we'll click on new group. And what we can now do is right click each one and we can rename them. So maybe this one could be, say, let's see, um, uh, spelling, spelling, or we could see maybe speech. Let's call this one speech. And we can put all our speech tools in here. And on this one, we can maybe have quite right click and rename, and we can maybe call this one, let me see, uh, color, okay, or view, view, and we can put some view tools in there. So say okay. So there's our tab, and there's our groups. So now we go over to the left hand. Uh, most of the tools that you, that you probably want to use aren't in here. So what you need to now do is go from popular commands to all commands. We want all the commands that we can find. Okay. And so the first one I want to find is speak. And if I press S on the keyboard, it will take me straight down to where all the S or the, the uh, tools beginning with, with S are located. And I'm just going to scroll down until I find speech. So speech is the one where you highlight a bit of text and words, uh, and then it will read it back to you. There it is there. OK, so from there, 
I then click on to speak and I want it to go into the speech category. So I'll click on there and click on add. And there it is there. OK, and so forth. So you can really decide which ones in here you want to go and where you want to go, where you want to put it. So if I wanted to put immersive reader, I'm going to type in I on my keyboard. It will take me to where all the eyes are. And there is immersive reader there. And let's pop that in there. OK, equally, if I want page colour, let's click on my group back to here. Click on P and then page colour looks like this one here and add that. So I've got three. Uh, if you make a mistake and you want to delete it, it's just a case of right clicking and you can see you can remove it or you can rename it or you can move it up and down. OK, so you can position it in different places as you're going along. Once you're happy with all your tools that you need, then click OK. And you can see now I've got my learning bar and there's my tools there. So really handy if you're wanting to use. So let's go back in. So if I want to use Immersive Reader, just it's there, it's handy. Um, uh, line Focus is there as well. So they're just nice and handy. We can do read aloud. The male bullfinch. The male bullfinch is unmistakable with his bright. Of course, the read aloud and Immersive Reader really only uses the, the kind of the built-in voices into Word, whereas if you were to use, for example, let's say, um, speak, you can set that up to use the Scottish voices. The flash of the red breast in flight and piping whistled call are usually the first signs of bullfinches being present. OK, so that's uh, using the uh, tools on the toolbar in Word just to make things more accessible and easy to navigate and find exactly what you need. <laughs>